I like to give you an example on how the pumping lemma for regular languages works. And um, if you have no idea about what I'm talking, then you may want to watch my intuition video first. I will put the link into the description. One important fact first, if a language is regular, it means that you can pump it. And this also means if you cannot pump it, then the lang language is not regular. That means if you have, uh, it, it means you can use the you can use the pumping lemma to prove that a language is not regular, but you cannot use it to prove that a language is regular. And um, what you will do in the proof is first you make the assumption that the language is regular. And well, uh, this the sentence here is not well formed, and I will write down things in short form so you don't have to watch me writing for years. So first, you make the assumption that L is regular, and what you do is you, what we want to do is that we want to show that the language is regular, and because or if this language is not regular, we will find out that it's not pumpable. And then that means that it's not regular, and we have uh, we have a contradiction to our assumption, and that will be the the proof that it's not regular. So we have um, well, I will follow a pumping lemma that's written in a book. You can use any other in a book um, that will maybe use other variables, but um, it says if a language is regular, then there is an a constant n greater or equal zero and of course this n is not the same as this n because um, this is a small one and this is a capital and that is um, a constant in the pumping lemma and that's a variable in the language so but if the language is regular then there's an n equal uh, or greater than zero and we don't know which n it is and we well, we don't really care. But if we have any word that is that is element of the language, and the length of the word is um, is greater or equal n, that means um, well. First, we um, we want to find a word that is greater or equal to n, and the word has to follow some um, some conditions that are named in the pumping lemma. So, how do we get any x that is longer than n, but we don't really know how long n is? Then we we do a little trick. We say that x is equal to the word a to the power of n, b to the power of n. Um, it, uh, those n still are not the same, but I assume that uh, those x, um, I don't know how, uh, how big those n is and I don't really care, but I say that x is as long, uh, x has as many a's as n is and as many b's as n is. That is a word of the language and x of course is longer than n because x has exactly the length of 2n. And now we don't really need an n, because every uh, every n we take, we will have a, for every n we take, we will have a word that meets these conditions. So, now we have the length of x, that is 2n, and of course that is longer than n. And now, for every word, the pumping lemma says for every word that is in the language and that's longer than n, so for example this, there's a separation so that x is equals equal u, y, w, and well, of course, v has to be longer or equal than 1, and 
uv has to be smaller or equal n. And um, for taking u and v um, to be long, uh, smaller than n, um, you see that those a has the length of n, so that means if u and v has to be shorter or equal n, it could be just um, in the left part, so u and v must be any separation of a's. So, um, if that is measured, that means um, uh, the next condition is um, for for all i greater or equal zero um, has to be true that u y i w is still um, is still an element of the language. So now let's um, let me take one example. If well, I, uh, maybe I don't really need an example. Uh, you could write it down in the proof. I uh, don't want to write down everything. As you can see, u and y, u and v have to be any, well, any part of a. And we say that v it has to be longer or equal one. So we know that in v must be, uh, can be only n a or maybe more than n a or it could be n a's it doesn't matter but we know that in v there's an a so and now if you if you pump up those v and you have any a in it then you will have more a's in it and the number of a will rise and the number of b will stay the same so we have n b's but you will have a greater number of a's in it and um, it's not possible, well, for any a, i, you see, it's not possible that this this will hold. So um, if you pump up the v and we'll get more a's, then those words will never be part of the language. So that means, that means um, it's not pumpable. So let me write like this, like this. It's not pumpable, and that means that we have a contradiction to our assumption, and from that follows that L is not regular.